posting automatically on TikTok. I can't even tell you how many times I've been asked how exactly this can be done. And I'll tell you right away. With Make, it's not that easy, um, especially if you don't want to spend any money. Um, so I went ahead and took the time to summarize all the options and non-options I found for you over the past weeks and months. Enjoy watching. Um, I'm really excited to find out if there are any other possibilities. So um, feel free to write in the comments below if you found a better way. But for now, let's get started with the ideas I can share with you. Let's begin. And I've already set up a scenario here. You might know from other things that I like to show you different ways into something. And that's exactly how I've started here again. And you can see here five bubbles that I've added just to show you what options are available. I've set the whole thing up so that it's an on-demand scenario, meaning it can be called as a sub-scenario from other places. And for inputs, I've simply defined them here, a file ID, which is on Google Drive Yard title, and a description. And we use these to post on TikTok. As you've seen with other tools or rather social media platforms like YouTube and Instagram, it's super easy. You just set it up and, well, it works. Unfortunately, that's not the case with TikTok. Um, I'll show you quickly here. So what do we have here? A huge collection of TikTok modules, but unfortunately, none of them have anything to do with posting. Maybe that will change in the future. At this point in time, that's not the case. Then I thought, okay, I read somewhere that you can register an app with TikTok that allows posting. I did that, but unfortunately, received a rejection from TikTok because they said, well, it's not desired for us to automate it in this way. I've now submitted the whole thing for review again and made some adjustments so that at least it posts in draft mode, but uh, I haven't received any feedback on that yet. Um, but I've also read that it has been accepted for some people. That means it's definitely an option for you to just check whether this app might be approved for you by TikTok. The next idea was to use Buffer. Buffer is actually a pretty cool tool. I've already added it here and I'll just connect it to our router so we can take a look inside. Uh, Buffer allows you to post on different platforms to schedule posts. And um, I think up to three channels are even free. You have the API that you can access. So pretty cool. And they can do TikTok as well. Um, I didn't really look into it any further because when you select attach media to the update and choose yes, the media section appears here. Then it immediately says that video upload via the API is not possible. You'll see later that this isn't entirely true. It's not possible to post via the buffer API in Maycom. So unfortunately, I had to abandon this idea as well and lay it to rest as a nice concept. During my research, I then came across upload post Upload post is, I've already opened it before tool, a simple API for different channels, and I just set it up and tested it, and I can tell you right away it works. Um, I'll briefly switch back to my make scenario here, and we'll take a look at the whole thing together. Of course, you can also read all of this again in the upload post documentation, um, but I'll still go through all the fields with you here. The URL, we need to select the post method. You need the API key. That's linked to your user in upload post, but it's really quite straightforward to click through the process. And then we need multi-platform data as the input type. And there we enter the file video. It's important that the keys are correct because otherwise the API won't be able to assign them properly. And the cool thing is that we can map this download file directly here without having to convert it again. We can simply pass the file from Google Drive right here then we also have the title that comes in as an input to the scenario. Let me quickly show you where you can find it. If you click here and on these curly brackets, you'll see the scenario inputs here. That means in theory, I can start a posting from any point uh, from different places here. I have to create a user. This is actually not your social media user, but rather the user you created in upload post. That confused me a bit at first. But it all becomes clear because under the user, you'll find the social media channels. And so you specify the platform down here. Please remember, since this is an array, to use 
square brackets here. Then it can interpret it correctly. And then in principle, we're already done. And then we just let the whole thing run using run once. I've just entered the data here accordingly and I click OK. And let's see what happens. Um, so the scenario has run through and we will quickly check TikTok to see if anything is there. And indeed, our test post has arrived on TikTok. Wonderful. With that, we've already found the first way that works compared to others. And the cool thing is you can make up to 10 posts per month for free there. That won't get you very far if you're a content creator, but it's definitely a simple and good way to automate posting on TikTok. The next idea I had, which I also came across during my research, is Metricool. That's another tool similar to Buffer and the like. With it, you can also post automatically on TikTok. The catch is that, unfortunately, the free version does not provide an API key. Um, that means it's not an option that works for free, so that's out as well. The last option is also quite a workaround, but I actually think it's pretty smartly done. If you do a bit of research, you quickly find out that Buffer can actually post videos via API, namely if you use Zapier. The downside of this setup, of course, is that it's a hardcore workaround and you have yet another automation tool involved. But I still think the solution is quite elegant considering it's a workaround. It's functional and if you don't use Zapier for anything else, it basically doesn't cost you any money because you get up to 100 operations per month for free there, if I remember correctly. Um, and I've set up this scenario myself, so let's take a detailed look at it now. As so often, I'm starting in... Um, as so often, I'm starting in an Airtable. Um, I have a test base there where I always set things up like this in the TikTok table. And that's where I enter all the information that we get from our scenario input. Let me quickly show you what that looks like in Airtable. Uh, it's really simple and straightforward. Title, description, a status, and a link. And then comes Zapier next. Zapier is basically nothing different from Make. And let's start right at the beginning to see what that looks like. First, we look for new records in Airtable and we check a base in the table. So it's really a very simple configuration, just like you know it from Make. And we could test the whole thing, but let's skip that for now. I already did it earlier. And in the next step, uh, we add buffer. That's also very easy to set up. You just connect it to your account and select the event Add to Queue. And uh, in the configuration since I haven't um, renamed my organization, it just works like that. I can select my channel, add the description and the link to the video and choose share now. That way there's no waiting time and I could test that as well. And finally, I want to update the record to mark it as done to indicate that it's been posted. It gives me a warning here. Ah, this could potentially be a loop, but since I'm only looking for new entries and not for updated records, that shouldn't actually be a problem. Here in test mode, it now shows me a record that I just tested. We'll quickly test that as well now, since I skipped it earlier. So in the base, uh, we can now see that the status has been set to done. Earlier, it's still set to do. So all steps are configured, all steps are tested. Um, the whole thing is already published. Uh, and that's why I'll just go into uh, make and start my run for TikTok here. The data from earlier is still entered. All right, here we go. The data has now been successfully sent to Airtable. Here you can see that we have a new test posting and our zap checks for new data here every two minutes. That means we have to wait a little bit. This means that in this way, we can ultimately automate posting to TikTok with Buffer. Of course, it's a bit cumbersome with the workaround using Zapier. We, we have to keep in mind that Zapier in the free version also has longer polling cycles. I think you can only fetch data there every 15 minutes at most. 
That means it just takes a bit longer, but all in all, it's a method that works, doesn't cost you anything at first. And so I'd say it gets a check mark from me. All in all, TikTok isn't quite as straightforward for auto posting as other platforms. But as you can see, there are definitely ways you can use workarounds to automate posting on TikTok to some extent. There's also another nice option, and I'd like to briefly introduce that to you as well. I just need to quickly add that. I just hit pause for a moment. If all of this is too complicated for you, you can also just simply and straightforwardly send an email with the download link or the view link where you can download it along with the relevant description. For example, that's how we've implemented it for our KI News Daily, because there we also always select the news items for which we want to generate this video. And then you can download it with one click and upload it back to TikTok with two more clicks along with the appropriate text. Of course, this involves more manual work. At the same time though, you have control and it's really incredibly simple. So now I've shown you three ways you can post on TikTok. The first is how we use upload post. The second is the workaround via Airtable and Zapier. And the third is, well, a bit more manual via email. I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Feel free to let me know how you post on TikTok and whether you even use this platform. For now, have fun with it and I'm looking forward to next time. Bye.